start with the, the message of Islam. Peace be upon you. And uh, before I deliver the statement on behalf of His Highness, the Foreign Minister of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate UAE for three occasions. First, their 50th National Day anniversary, and second, for the inauguration of Expo, and third, for convening or hosting this conference in the capital, Abu Dhabi. Your Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your kind invitation to speak at the official opening of the World Policy Conference. Such an occasion represents a unique opportunity to enhance dialogue and engagement on issues, regional and global concern. The insight shared here work toward informing policymaking by gathering officials, researchers, business leaders, and industry experts under the same roof. A wide array of topics are under discussion, from shifting state of global geopoliticals to the challenge of global health, energy, and climate change. The variety and intensity of the challenges facing the international community require careful attention and deliberation, making matters of global governance very timely indeed. At the outest of COVID-19 pandemic, the Kingdom made decision to address these challenges sustainably and inclusively. The most effective method to do is by relying global efforts within multilateral frameworks. This approach act as an extension of decades long diplomacy that sought to bring nations together, narrowing differences in order to focus on border picture, the shared challenges facing the international community. In an increasingly inter in interconnected and interdependent world, the pandemic highlights our common threats and intensified shared challenges. And for, unfortunately, this was also accompanied by increased polarization around geopolitical and global hotspots. Communities struggled in terms of lives and livelihoods. At modest, these factors increasing international cooperation and paving the way for sustainable economic recovery became the vital path we choose. Recent challenges emphasize the importance of our ambition, Vision 2030, the need to diversify public revenue stream, develop human capital, and create sustainable economics are challenges relevant to most nations. We have been investing in Saudi youth, enabling them with necessary skills and diverse opportunity that enhance the quality of life in our society. The Vineyards May program, such as the recently announced Human Capability Development Program and the National Transportation Logistics Strategy, help our economy to better integrate with regional and global opportunities. We have also opened up new sectors for employment and investment, such as tourism, entertainment, technology, and green solutions. The Kingdom foreign policy is driven by dedication to this vision, a commitment to regional security, 
and deep affirmation of our meaningful global partnership, we believe this will act as a catalyst for transformation across the region, creating an environment more receptive to, an, to the ambitions of our youth. The Kingdom is equally committed to addressing the challenges of energy sustainability, climate change, and lending a helping hand to countries in need. The Kingdom proudly rank as the third most provider of humanitarian aid. Both our Islamic and human values drive our solidarity with countries who are in need. The main platform for our donation is the King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center, which supervises over 1,727 projects in more than 70 countries. Mounting to more than 4 billion US dollars in aid. Another key provider of Saudi assistance is the Saudi Fund for Development, which has been operating in Africa for the last four decades. Its grant and loans amounted nearly 13.5 billion in the last 45 years, in, in, uh, in 45 countries. Their projects span different areas such as food, security, health, and education. Your Excellency, joining the world in achieving a sustainable recovery also means working together to find creative way to tackle climate change while maintaining energy security and efficiency. In addition to the Kingdom adherence to the International Climate Accord, such as Paris Agreement, and, support, and supporting the success of COP26, we believe we can do more. Based on this conviction, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince launched ambitious projects such as Saudi and the Middle East Green Initiatives. Within the Kingdom, we aim to reduce emissions, significantly raise our dependence on renewable, and plan more, plant more than 10 billion trees. We also plan on hosting a Green Initiative Forum at the end of this month, inviting our friends and partners to participate with our regional partner we are embarking on largest overstation project aiming to plant over 40 billion trees across the Middle East. This is part of the larger commitment to cater for the need for the planet. As we support innovation in renewable and uh, green energy, as well as pioneering innovation in marine and land conservation, in the Red Sea, Neum, and across the Kingdom. Enacting this ambition plan and strengthening global partnership require regional environmental that is stable, and we give cooperation over tension. We are keen on shifting the region toward stability, cooperation, and mutual beneficial partnership. Saudi diplomacy is full of examples showing its dedication to seek peaceful solution to conflicts and disputes. The Kingdom effort through the Friends of Sudan group to facilitate peace and transition in Sudan were vital. We supported the UN Integrated Transition Assistance Mission in Sudan toward inclusive transition, we continue to stand with the people of Sudan in maintaining state institution and supporting Sudan stability and prosperity. 
I would, I would like also to highlight the Al-Ula Declaration, which was asserted so solidarity and friendship within the GCC. It was a landmark moment in which the region leaders close to come together, choose to come together and bathe a bright future for the region. We have also been advancing a peaceful solution to conflict in Yemen. Unfortunately, the Houthi have yet to engage with our unilateral case fire, nor do they seem receptive to international pressure. We call on them to case their campaign that are jeopardizing Yemen future and standing in the way of peace, establishing long-lasting peace and stability through the region will always remain a top priority for the kingdom. Facilitating peace is a way forward to improving global governance and enabling more open world. Your Excellency, the world is undergoing profound transformation and we need to adapt if we are to raise the occasion of fulfilling the aspiration of our youth. Creating opportunities, enhancing connectivity and strengthening partnerships should guide our path forward. The Kingdom will continue to act as a strong advocate of multilateral frameworks to address common challenges and work toward building a safe and secure future for the region where this can be achieved. Thank you.